built. This was the responsibility of the homeowner from the valve in the yard to their house. Galvanized was used up through the 80s um, before they started using copper on both sides of this. A lot of it was lead that was there and there was galvanized coming off of it. It was just a bad, it was a bad material to use because the lead pipe that went the water from the lead went through the galvanized and any any lead in there got trapped in the into the slag and the rust in the galvanized so if this broke free any of these particles inside broke free i mean it was really high in lead content and that's what you've seen in flint a lot of this broke free that's why the water was brown all the insides of these pipes were kind of flushed out by the corrosive water and uh, really high in lead content All right, and uh, let's let's move over to uh, to this pipe now. Um, you're going to have to explain <laughs> what, how, how on earth is this a pipe that was was part of a service line connecting a home to to a to a water main? How does that work? Well, coming from the street um, to the house, over the years, some of these had tree roots. Um, and back in the day when, when they ran these lines, a lot of times they would just put a loop in them and tie them in to the, to the house because they didn't even cut them off. So um, none of these are very straight anymore. I mean, they've been underground for 100 years. Tree roots, like I said, a lot of times they just would loop them so they wouldn't even cut them. But yeah, this, is, uh, this was a lead line. You can see, you can see where the phosphate had coated it on the inside and that would cover up the lead, but uh, when that corrosive water went through there, it, it cleaned all that off and that exposed the lead right to the water. Now, <laughs> looking at the pipe, I assume what we're seeing here is one of the main reasons why people use lead pipes, because it is um, malleable, is that is that the correct word? I mean, you can't, do, can't exactly do that to a, a copper pipe. No, this was, uh, and it lasts, it'll last forever. You know, they used lead back in, in Roman days, but uh, it's not a good thing. Um, and the one reason they did use it is because it would last forever, and it is malleable. You can, I mean, it's, it's heavy. It's heavy stuff. It took uh, a lot of work to put that stuff in, but uh, it would last forever. They just didn't take into account the poisonous effect of the lead getting into the water. Yeah, let me just kind of zoom back in here. do a little okay all right and uh, let's see got some more stuff down there or, uh, yeah or, or I mean, this will you know this is what's in your house okay that's the galvanized pipe that's it that's in most people's houses and you know that's how much it plugs up over the years and that that all contains lead because it came off the lead main. So anytime a piece of that breaks free and goes into your drinking water, you're drinking something that ain't good for you. I had mine tested. This came out of my house. This piece of galvanized was in my basement. It fed my upstairs faucet and this is out of my upstairs bathroom, okay? And they tested the the content of the lead in the corrosion inside there and it was over a million parts per billion I mean it was really high so you get one of those break loose it's kind of, it's full of lead and and the action level for lead is 15 parts yeah. per billion yeah. so that's astronomical what yeah. you have there and then you also have you know the lead solder up until 1987 solder contained lead so even if you've got copper pipes and you've got solder in there before 1987 you've got lead in that solder too which can come in which comes in contact you know with your drinking water okay all right 